G'day everybody, today we're out there at the range. I've been cordially invited by Beretta as one of their pro team members to test fire and take the Beretta APX through its paces. This is my personal carry gun of choice as well, so I'm quite experienced with it and I prefer it to most other carry guns. And I'm gonna tell you now one of, a couple of the reasons why I prefer this, this APX. So as we started, just to indicate that the pistol is unloaded, it is safe, there's no ammo in there, so we can comfortably handle this. So the Breta APX comes out of the box with very nice steel sights. This is good in a battle situation, you're knocking it against stuff, it's not going to deform too much and it's not going to move off target. That's a very, very good bonus. We're moving down from there, the heavy slide serrations on here on the front and the back. This is a huge benefit for me because it doesn't matter how I present onto the slide or cycle the slide, I get a good comfortable grip on there, even with sweaty or wet hands. That's, that's a must in, in most situations. Uh, one of my favorite features as an instructor, not really as a shooter, is the firing pin block that moves upwards over the slide so you can clearly see what is happening with the trigger through the uh, trigger press cycle. This is very, very useful when you've got new students training and they tend to jerk or slap the trigger and push the gun downwards. Now from an instructor point of view, I can actually see as they're pulling the trigger if they're pressing it hard or they're presenting it very smooth. Uh, it brings me to the Beretta Apex trigger, straight out of the box. It's got a very short press, very smooth break and a very short textile reset. It allows you to shoot this pistol very accurately and very rapidly straight out of the box with no need to modify on this trigger at all. Obviously, some people would, would like to change that to their preference. For me, out of the box, absolutely perfect. The gun is fully ambidextrous, so it doesn't matter uh, which way I grip it, strong hand or weak hand, I can manipulate the firearm properly. And if we look at the, the grips, it's got very aggressive front and back straps, allowing me to grip onto this pistol. I've mentioned in some other videos that that's what I prefer. It allows me not to have to squeeze too hard on the grip panels to keep the gun from moving in my hands. So even with a nice relaxed grip on the gun, it's not going anywhere, even if my hands are wet. That's a big plus. Uh, one of the features that I'm not going to present here is the fact that you've got this interchangeable grip module where you can change the Centurion grip to the compact grip. It's going to lessen your capacity on the pistol, but it's going to shorten the grip a whole lot. So when you're running a deep conceal, formal wear type situation, this really comes in handy. So I can run a nice full size grip on there for my normal stuff. But when I need to deep conceal, it's an easy swap out and I've got a very nice compact pistol in my mist. And even with the compact frame, it's got enough grip to let me present the gun properly and control the recoil and the cycle sequence of the pistol. Now the Centurion is uh, our mid range between the compact and the full size, but one of my, uh, my likes in this is it's got a f relatively full size frame so even with my slightly larger hand I can get a good presentation on that grip which allows me to control this pistol a lot better and more comfortably. All right so as our first drill we're just going to do a standard present out of the holster shoot the target drill just to see how comfortably we can get the gun out of the holster shoot the target. We're roughly at around about six and a half seven meters we didn't bring the tape measure out, but that's where we're standing it. And that is to simulate the, the type of drills that you will do with this pistol, the purpose of this pistol. This is a compact pistol, more preferred around or designed for defensive situations. And normally you'll be shooting at about five to seven meters. So we're gonna simulate that now. We're gonna run the first couple of drills, just draw and fire one, just to get the gun out, feel how comfortable it is. And then to stop us from cheating, we're gonna do a couple of draw and fire twos. The reason for doing a draw and fire two is going to be with the draw and fire one, you can kind of cheat the, the timing, you can cheat the target by not having a good presentation on a gun, just slapping it out and firing a shot. Draw fire two actually requires me to have a good presentation on the gun, break the shot, follow through, come back onto target. So we'll see, this is a fairly light carry gun, so it might recoil a bit more. I doubt it. Let's see what happens. Okay, range is hot. So a nice relaxed pace, just going on to the target. Draw and fire one. Relatively comfortable. 
relatively in the middle of the target. Do that again. Still in the vital zone, relatively easy. Let's do a draw and fire too and see what happens. Ooh, got a bit hung up on the trigger there. Let's try that again. Nice and easy. Once more. Right, I think we should go grab the timer and see what we can do on the clock. Right, so we've got Terry here, he's gonna run the timer for us. So we're gonna run the same drill, this time we're just gonna actually see what the timer takes us to get the shots on target. So we're gonna come out with two draw and fire ones on the target again, and then come back to and uh, draw and two, fire two on the target. Let's see if we can still keep it nice in the center like the first run, and get a time estimate for that. Okay, okay going. Yep. Nice and consistent. Step off. Step off. Let's see if we can get sub one second on that first shot. We can. Period. Step by. Point eight five draw twenty one skip. All still nice, comfortable in the middle. And as you could see when you listen to the time, draw and fire two was just slightly slower because I had to ensure that I've got a good presentation on the pistol. That was for the camera. 1.06 seconds for two shots from the holster. Okay, so we've done a couple of draw tests and we figured that we can get it out onto target about a second and still hit a relatively vital area in about a second. 1.2 seconds for two shots. So what we're gonna do now is we know the gun can shoot fast, but can it shoot accurately? So the drill I'm gonna do now is what I call the rapid fire uh, grouping. So I've got an, an IDPA target there. I'm gonna go for the head and I'm gonna fire six shots at a relatively rapid pace. I can, I'm gonna see how close together I'm gonna to get that. This is not a traditional grouping where I'm trying to shoot one hole. This is a high paced grouping to see how comfortably I can get the gun back onto target and fire multiple consecutive shots in the same area. So let's see how that goes. Okay, range is hot. Relatively comfortably, relatively easily. And as you can see, the gun's not jumping left to right. It's keeping up the same pace. Uh, that's a four inch ahead at about seven meters. Relatively comfortable. What we just uh, indicated there was the amp how well this gun shoots ambidextrously. It did a weekend reload, dropped the slide of my weekend, got all the shots on the target. This is a phenomenal shooter. And even with quite aggressive one-handed shooting, I'm still managing to hit the center of the target in the vital area. Perfect gun for, for self-defense. This is the APX Centurion that the guys at MRST put a red dot on for us. We haven't shot this gun before. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna check that it's roughly zeroed maybe zero it if we have to, and just see how it works with the dot on it. So the big advantage of the dot is it lets you target focus, works in all light conditions. Let's get our eyes and ears on, and let's see what it does. So. I pulled one slightly, but I think the zero is not too bad at all. Oh, that was me. Oh, I'm shooting terribly. Shoots nice and flat. I don't have a mag pouch on like Ian. Yeah. 
Sits nice and flat, really easy to track the dog. And the recoil. Really nice little setup this. That works really well. So we don't have to zero this properly at, at distance, but uh, I think we've got a winning little package here. Dot works really well on it. The gun shoots nice and flat, so it's easy to track the dot once I got the hang of it. Fantastic little setup.